Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and today we've managed to get our hands on the Xiaomi Mi Pad. So let's go ahead, unbox this and take a quick little look inside. So this is the box that it comes in, some little more Xiaomi devices that we've seen. A quick, quick little list of specs at the bottom. So let's go ahead. Get this opened up. So here we have the Xiaomi Mi Pad. We'll get to this in a moment. So let me just put that aside. So here's a wall adapter. It's included. There you go. We've got a micro SD card ejector pin, and the regular booklets, and since I've imported this from China, they're in Chinese, depending on your region, wherever you buy it from, it would be in the relevant language. Anyway, that being said, let's just put this aside, and here we have the micro USB cable, at least I guess that's what it is. So, yep, micro USB cable. So, Xiaomi does not ship earphones in the box. Uh, they do sell earphones separately. So, these are the Xiaomi Piston earphones. They're pretty good. Anyway, let's get the Mi Pad itself. So, here it is. So I've got the white variant here, the Mi Pad is going to be available in a range of colors. So here we have a 7.9 inch display that's going to be 2048 pixels this way and 1536 pixels this way. So that, that would give it a pixel density of 324 pixels per inch, it's an IPS LCD display. The thickness is 8.5 millimeters, uh, about 1 millimeter thicker than the uh, uh, iPad Mini 2. And uh, it's got a 67 milliamp hour battery inside. It's powered by the Tegra K1 chipset. So that's okay. Let me first turn this on. So the Tegra K1 chipset has four Cortex A15 cores clocked at 2.2 gigahertz each, uh, coupled with a, a NVIDIA GeForce Kepler 192 core GPU and two gigs of RAM. So, we're up, guys. Let me quickly run through uh, setup. So there you go guys, just got the device set up and uh, here we have the Mi Pad. So let's, how do I jump into settings here? Mm -mm -mm. Right. Okay, settings, about tablet, uh, MIUI, Android 4.4.2 here, let's get cat. The latest version of Mi UI that's found on the Mi 3 right now. So it's KitKat based Mi UI. And since this tablet is, uh, like I said, since I've imported it from China, the Google Play Store is not preloaded, but it's very simple. No matter where you get it from, it's simple to get the Play, Play Store. All you need to do is just go into Xiaomi's own market and type in Google. And download this app by Eric Xiang. Alright guys, the app just got downloaded. So that's the Google installer app. All you need to do is just go and open this app. Yes, you see a lot of things in Chinese, but don't worry. You're just going to get the English variant. So just install Google Services Framework, Account Manager, Google Play and hit install. So there you go guys, a couple of minutes later we now have Google Play Store access. We can, we can download all of Google's apps like Gmail and whatnot from the Play Store now. So let's take a look at the physical aspect of this device here. So like I said, 7.9mm, uh, uh, I mean inch display, 8.5mm 8 .8, 8 thick. It weighs in at, a three, at 360 grams, that's a little heavier 
uh, than the Nexus 7. So let me just pull up my Nexus 7 for a size comparison. So here's my Nexus 7. So, yep, it's got a lot of fingerprints. Sorry about that. So that is it. It's a lot wider. It's about, uh, the height is about the same. And here's the thickness comparison. And it, it packs a substantially bigger battery, a 6700 milliamp hour. That's pretty good. So 8 megapixel camera on the back, 5 megapixel cam camera to the front, uh, capacitive buttons at the bottom, open apps, home and back keys, and MIUI with all its customizations. So, uh, And another thing Xiaomi is known for is uh, updates and I've just received this tab and I immediately have an update here. So I'm going to update it. I'll be back with you guys in a couple of minutes. So yeah, we're back up guys and uh, it's got uh, it's the display is predicted by Corning Gorilla Glass 3 and uh, the buttons to the left we've got the micro SD card slot it's not a SIM slot this not this does not accept some cards some cards this is a micro SD card slot and uh, let me just get us some ejector pin off so. It accepts micro SD cards up to 128 gigs. Anyway, popping it back. So the back is plastic, similar to the plastic we find on the iPhone 5C. And there are dual stereo speakers here, micro USB port at the bottom. The buttons are to the right, power and uh, volume rockers. And the micro, uh, I mean, the 3.5mm headphone jack to the top. So, uh, I guess that's pretty much it guys for this quick little hands-on uh, an unboxing video so that's the notification bar swipe you get these options so settings and there you see it's a 16 gig variant the 64 gig variant is also available uh, and uh, that's pretty much it So I'm going to go ahead and spend some time with this and before we're done let me also show you a quick comparison with the Galaxy Tab S 8.4 so this is the Galaxy Tab S 8.4 so let me put this on top again it's a little wider the Tab S is a little taller though but it's a lot slimmer here the Tab S is just 6.6 millimeters thick but has a substantially smaller battery at uh, 4900 mAh. So anyway guys, I'm going to go ahead and play around with this device for a bit before I come out of my full review. And this should hit India sooner or later. With the Mi 3 being launched at 14,000 rupees, expect this to be priced around the same as well. If you don't want to wait or if you aren't from India, you can pick this up today from showmeworld.com. I'll leave a direct link down below the like button in the description. Additionally, you can also use the discount code C4E Tech to get five dollars off so i guess that's pretty much it for this quick little video hope you guys liked it if you did do give this video a thumbs up and for more videos like these including the full review of the xiaomi mi pad please do stay subscribed so till next time this is ash here from c4e tech signing off you guys have a great day bye bye now